The Amex Platinum has been a symbol of luxury and status for a while now. There's something about this sound that makes having this card a huge flex. It is also one of the most expensive cards out there with an annual fee of $695, which makes it unattainable for a lot of people. In this video, I'll go over all the benefits this card has, as well as analyzing whether it is worth it or not. If you're already familiar with the benefits, I'll leave chapters in the bottom so you can jump straight to the analysis. So first, let's go over the benefits this card has. It pays five times points for every dollar spent on flights booked directly through airlines and five times points for every dollar spent on hotels booked through Amex Travel or through the hotel collection. This is important because not every hotel qualifies for this benefit. This is the same with the next benefit, which is a $200 hotel credit that you can use for reservations in hotels. You also have a $200 airline fee credit but it's for incidentals only. An example of an incidental expense could be Wi-Fi, a checked bag, better seats, and there's also a cheat code that I found that you could actually buy gift cards from these airlines and use them to buy airplane tickets. You also get $240 towards digital entertainment, which includes Disney+, Plus, ESPN+, Plus, Hulu, New York Times, Peacock, and The Wall Street Journal. You get $155 for Walmart Plus, which is kind of like Amazon Prime. You get free shipping, free grocery delivery, free Paramount Plus, and other benefits. Similar to the Gold Amex, you get $200 in Uber Cash, which equals to $15 a month plus $20 in December. You get $100 towards Saks, a $300 Equinox credit, $199 for Clear Plus, as well as TSA PreCheck and Global Entry fees reimbursed, and other more service-related benefits such as lounge access, Global Dining Access by Resi, which gives you early access to some reservations, Marriott and Hilton Gold status, and a lot more. So clearly there are a lot of benefits and services provided by this card, but now let's actually do the analysis to see if this card is actually worth it monetary price. If we were to take advantage of all the benefits this card includes, that would equal around $1,694 worth of benefits. With this analysis, it would definitely make sense to get the card. However, you should conduct a personal analysis to see if it would make sense for you, given your existing personal expenses. An example would be this one. For the hotel benefit, I probably would not take advantage of this because whenever I travel, I'm still in the age where I split Airbnbs with some of my friends. And if I were to stay in a hotel, I'd probably go for a really cheap option, which would probably not qualify based on the hotel collection that Amex has. I would for sure take advantage of the $200 for airline incidentals that the card offers. In terms of the digital entertainment out of the options, I only have the Disney, Hulu, and ESPN bundle, which is $15 a month. So that would equal to $180 per year in benefits. I would probably not get Walmart Plus because I already use Amazon Prime. I would definitely use a $200 in Uber Cash. I think that's easy to use. Next up, the benefits for Saks, Equinox, and Clear Plus really do not apply to me. And lastly, I'll attribute $100 of value for the Centurion lounges. I do get access to the lounges because I have an extension of my dad's card. And every time I go, it saves me around $20 between food, coffee, water, etc. So assuming I go five times per year, which I probably go a lot more, I'm saving about $100 that I would spend otherwise. So this would give me a total benefit of $680, which is less than the fee of the card. There's a lot of things that would just be extras that I don't really use on a day-to-day -day basis. So at least for me, this card is a very tough sell. In conclusion, I think this card is more of a luxury. Compared to the Amex Gold, it is harder to find value for the price you're paying. I think if you have extra money lying around and don't mind paying the heavy fee, it is a nice card to have that comes with a lot of different services that could make your life easier, particularly with traveling. If you don't have an Amex and you're watching this video, I would check out the Gold Amex video I made a couple of weeks ago. The Gold gives you points for everyday purchases such as dining out, groceries, and still rewards spent on travel. So at least where I'm at 
at right now, I prefer to have an everyday card and I can't really find the need for a luxurious travel card. Let me know if you think I missed something in the comments down below. If you want to see more credit card analysis or comparisons, make sure you subscribe. We release videos every Wednesday, so we'll see you next week. Peace.